Welcome back to getting punched in the face. My cause is just... Die. Oh, did, I think he fucked it up because I was getting up. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, Taylor. Whoa. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Yes, that's true. Do you feel like you would be a good leader, Taylor, if you had absolute power? I try to be. But do you feel like you would be? Uh, maybe? If I had absolute power, I'd be like, racism destroyed. <laughs> but how are you going to do it? I don't know. By destroying all the racists? That'd be the easiest way. <laughs> but it would probably be a very immoral way also. That would be, yeah. Uh, you know... I know full well that if I was given absolute power, I would be a bad person in the end. I think most I people would I would do it be. with good intention, but... Yeah, I think most people would be. But, yeah. With good intentions, I would attempt to be a good person, but I would probably take the easy way to get things just done quicker. Ow. <laughs> yeah, I think most people probably would. That's why I'd never want to be, like, in a position of, like, you know, world power or anything. Because it's, like, people like to just assume that, like, you know, just because you're the president it means you can, like, do pass laws and do things, and it's, like, it's not how it fucking works at all. No. You know. It's all about working together. Well, and I think feasibly that's, like, you know, in order to get, like, you know, to make the most, you know proper decisions, you have to have a body of people. It can't be solely left to one person. So, I don't think anybody with supreme power would do good. Yeah. Do a, do a they, good they might do a lot of good things, but they're probably also going to do a lot of bad. Yeah, probably. It's extremes when only one person has power. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There has to be like some kind of body of people to either advise or to be the one that kind of govern what's going on but as we've even learned in modern day politics the body of people are still pretty shitty so yeah. <laughs> um i don't think there's any money and this is why communism will never work yeah when everybody gets a say yeah when everyone gets a say oh remember oh a total a totally average person is pretty dumb yeah. But that means that 50% of people are way dumber than that person. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you're, you're pretty spot on with that, I think. Oh. My daughter, whom I haven't seen until just now. Like, seriously, we haven't seen her through, like, most <laughs> no. of the game. <laughs> yeah, the last time we saw her was when we left home. Or, like, when yeah. we, like when we got betrayed. Yeah. Yeah, that was the last time we saw her. And then we, you know, saw her die, but her twin. Oh, is this the time where the... Are the souls going back? Oh, oh no, no, they're the probably fucking, the worms reviving... Eating, yeah, the worm's eating it. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, this is delish. Oh. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, that seems to be, you know, that seems to be working for me so far, so, yeah. <laughs> so far, yeah, that's, uh, that's worked every single time. What? It's Guma. Why don't you just get all the humans off the planet? Like, that would be easier than doing all this shit, don't you think? Nah. Oh, is that, is that just like a hand of Gumara? That's what I thought. It looked like just a hand. If that was just a hand, I'd be like, That's Oh, no, awesome. it's like multiple of the worm things. Nah. Ha, I can't see anything. <laughs> we are just... What am I? <laughs> what? Yeah, fuck that planet, dude. Just get everybody off of it. <laughs> Laser light show. <laughs> Welcome, Maroon 5, to the stage. <laughs> I got the moon. 
it was like, yeah, please. You got me fucking on my knees. Vedra <laughs> is killing us. <laughs> No, actually, that'd be more like a like a death clock show right there. Yeah. <laughs> sort of a death clock. See, that's what it'd be. It's like Maroon Five well, would open up, die. but then like their stage would be like you know like fall from the sky and land on top of the Marine Five one. <laughs> you see, just, you see that right? <laughs> that was it was so good. <laughs> In Metalocalypse, like that was one of the like the earlier episodes. I think is like. They have this gigantic, humongous cube that falls from the sky. Oh yeah, and yeah. And that's yeah. where the stage is. And like here's like just a designated landing area and then it lands like way off to the side. It fucking murders a whole bunch of people. Murders <laughs> a ton of people. And then and each then side of the cube falls down. Yeah, so it's more. <laughs> Everyone's just like It's so funny. There's so much stuff in that show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just the visual and the idea behind that is so funny to me. <laughs> oh my god. You're just showing up for your first ever concert. <laughs> You're like, I hear this rain's really good, yeah. You just gotta be careful. Because like be it's very a bit far, dangerous. Be very, very far away from them. <laughs> It'd be like, well, it's supposed to land right here, so I should be safe over here. <laughs> it's supposed to land there. And then a quarter mile away, you're like, yeah, I should be fine here. And then just... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, you almost fucking murdered me. Ching! <laughs> yeah. And then just kills you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. <laughs> She's like, what? What's left to do? Look out the fucking window. Yeah, right. It's a, it's, it's a fucking rave party <laughs> over you, there. Do you see that metal, that death clock show going on? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go over there and fucking fuck it up. It is too powerful. You will never defeat me, little draw. He just like pinches it. He just <laughs> maybe if all seven of us were alive, or like all eight of us were like banded together, maybe we could. Yeah. Instead of being the hateful eight, you could have been the magnificent eight. Yeah. It's a good way of putting it. But no, you had to be the fucking seven, which then turned to six, and then five, and then four, and then three. Now there's only one. Because I don't know where the girl is. Yeah, we haven't seen her. I mean, she's still alive, presumably. The girl and technically Yasha. <gasps> so two. Yeah, and Yasha, yeah. Like, we're reaching the... We're getting close to the end. I don't know if, if 19 is the end. I I, I don't know. More, uh, more like feet of glay. Glaive? Yeah, feet of glaive. It's just two little swords. What the fuck are you doing here, Emperor Strata? A little bit. You've been dead. You've been dead this whole game. <laughs> All time before Bleacher's next. Bleacher's next revival. If we do not start preparing preemptive measures soon, it will be too late. Choosing to do nothing is also an option. With some change, it comes opposition. Whatever, my well. I agree. I agree, Emperor, with everything you just yawned said. <laughs> <laughs> to Forget what the caption said. That's what I said. I, I said... His nose looks like a weird dick. Look at it. It's very pointy. That's a weird penis. I said... Penis. Did he... So wait, are we... Is, is this where Deus is, like... I'm gonna kill the Emperor, bitch. Probably. The Emperor is only interested in protecting himself. Must he be must be disposed of. Yep, yep, there you there go. There it is. Do you know I have no intention of becoming Emperor. It is my destiny to purchase planet of the Impure, and if I must be the one to guide our people in doing so, then so be it. But I will 
must be all here. I'll try if I can't check all this over side my post. Oh, look at <laughs> My purpose has always been for the cause. I have no desire to send my throne for all eternity. I like the way that Olga looked in that picture. With her, with her fucking tum tum out again. She really should put like a, put like a little piece of armor there or something, because you're gonna get stabbed in the midriff. Yeah, that's a painful way to go. Yeah, right. Slowly, from with your stomach in there, it's basically pouring, pouring out inside of you, burning you. Well, I mean, she has looked like a she. Just being a soul caliber, she looked like a soul caliber character in the picture. Yes, they kind of have like an anime thing going on in that too. The breaking point. Where do you think the breaking point is? Two hundred twelve degrees Fahrenheit. That's a that's a pretty high high t temperature for a break. More more likely, that's a melting point. What? No, it's the boiling point of water. Is that? Yeah. Two two thousand two hundred and twelve degrees oh. Fahrenheit. Oh, okay. I thought she said two thousand. Like Do you know how many degrees that is in Celsius? <sighs> no, it's one hundred. Oh yeah, that's, that's right. Because the <laughs> zero through one hundred. Yeah, because zero is thirty two degrees Fahrenheit, which is the freezing point. Isn't that doesn't that make so much more sense? No, I don't like it though. Whatever. Because I don't I don't understand the. Uh, I'm gonna have to assimilate to that because I you know. I'd like to live in Canada. Okay, what? Just fuck it. Let's just go. Why are you doing this shit? Press start. Why? I'm playing the game already. No, press start again. <laughs> I was waiting for him to like just shoot off. Is what I was waiting for him to do. <laughs> so that's what I wanted. Just like a little. Whatever happened to Australia? They got a fucking sword through them, and it's like <laughs> <laughs> that guy's still yeah. Like, oh fuck! Oh, that's what I wanted pots to paint on the lava that's, that's coming through. That's what I wanted to see during that fight. Is like the surface level of like somebody like, holy shit! <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> like it's just completely destroying his just city. Just goddamn sword through. Oh, yeah. And then once the sword retracts, like lava starts pouring up. <laughs> Do you think a Goma no, like that would taste good, like a giant space fish? No. No? I don't like seafood, so... I don't either. Special performance director. Wow, he gets his own credit. Hey, it's like the beginning of the game. Wow! Do you remember the beginning of the game? Wow! When we were both like, what the fuck? <laughs> At first we were so like, wow. Now we're like... Yeah, I'm getting kind of numb to okay. it. Like we're we're because now we've been in engrossed in the world for you know a few you know several hours at least. Now uh, we kind of know what's up, you know. Yeah, everything is expected. And I think I think part of it too is like when we were first playing it, we were kind of expecting like more. I was expecting more depth to the gameplay than this. Me too. Like it's very much like it's either you're fighting on the ground or you're doing one of these types of like Star Foxy sections. But there's no upgrades or anything. There's none of, none of that. It's just the progression is yeah. strictly story. Yeah. Which is and cool too. I guess character. Yeah, it, it's cool too. You, you're supposed to be able to get different gauges or something, but I, I've only used like the one. Yeah, you got the defensive <coughs> one. Yeah. And that's all you've used. That's literally all I've used so far. Red and blue. One's aggressive, the other one's more passive. Well, that was kind of like at the beginning too. Except there was the yellow one too, so I'm assuming that was. Uh, Angus What's, Young or somebody. Yeah. Did I trigger the explosion with the button press? Yes. Oh, whatever. I'm a big uh, old snake! <laughs> Dodging. And I'm like controlling both of them with my QTEs. That's pretty cool. That's pretty quiet. Dude. Dude, dude. Don't fuck it. I'm trying Don't not, fucking I'm trying not to fuck it. Punch oh the shit no! Out of that snake. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! Punch the shit out of this fucking snake, Taylor. <laughs> oh, 
be a little full man. It's just me. I honestly can't tell, like, if I'm... I, I mean, obviously I'm dodging it because I haven't got taken any damage yet, but it's like... It doesn't hell? look like it, though. Yeah, it looks like I'm fucking getting hit every time. Yeah. Especially with this, like, it encompasses the whole fucking screen. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? You're supposed to have 3D glasses on for all this. Oh. Oh, now you got hit. Yeah. Put on 3D glasses now. Oh, oh that's gonna be shit. that's gonna be a nostril problem. Yeah. You just went through the thing's nose. Mm -hmm. It's gonna have some real bad fucking time. Ouch. Now just do that seven more times. Well, how are you gonna get to the body unless you you know defeat the heads? Why don't you just skip the heads? There's a four meter wide exhaust port in the body. It's about this big, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's just big enough for someone to put their penis in. That's. <laughs> I would say that fit one of his fingers, maybe, but <laughs> just... his fist to be too big. Yeah, you can't fist it. The, this one's a virgin. You gotta enter it slowly. <laughs> be very gentle. But if you do that, then it'll goo like this. It'll die. You see, this is actually just an allegory for women, where, uh... This is a pussy troll? The, this is them squirting. Oh. I gotta endure. See, look how happy they yeah, are. Yeah, there we go. And now you're gonna burst. And impregnate this, this bitch. Yeah, we gotta impregnate the earth. That's yeah. how we save it. You gotta take out the impure by making it pure, and the only way to purify the impure is to come in it. I mean, destroy it. I mean, satisfy it sexually. <laughs> you gotta goo in the tubes. If you ain't gooing in the tubes, Taylor, how are you gonna have a child? Uh, I'm gonna goo in a bag. And then slap her in the face with it? No. And then I'm gonna throw that in the garbage. <laughs> Goo in the bag, throw it in the garbage, or flip it up, flip it the opposite way and use it again. Flip, flip, flip it over you. Don't. Don't, uh. Don't use condoms again, people. Especially don't flip them outside. No, yeah. Inside out it's, and then it, do it again. Because then all your Jews. Ju ju all your ju juice, <laughs> all your jizz is on the outside now, and you shove it in. Well, you just wasted the whole thing. Well, then you rin no, rinse it off a bit. No, there's Andros. There he is. Uncle Andros. He's finally, he's finally in the game. Fucking, what's his face from uh, Wolf's team? <laughs> Uncle Andros. <laughs> yeah, his name was Andrew. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> 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 Fucking Andrew's just chilling there. Is this just a big starfish? I don't know. Ah, oh, that fucking hurt. What a pussy. Make me angry. So now we're just fighting the planet. Yep. Okay. I am going to fight. Now you gotta make me angry. He's like, I don't know how. Wait, I do. <laughs> he gives what will. He just gives him fucking what will. He's like, fucking, I hate it. <laughs> ah! It turns into the fucking Black Panther style again. Here, put this mask on. No! Put your mask on. No! 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 We're in space! No germs can live up here! But the coronavirus, we're not social distancing! Six feet! She's gonna rip her face off. Dirk, what are you doing here? You're dead. <laughs> it's actually the blonde change. <laughs> just snaps her neck. It's like, Dirk, I haven't seen you since the first episode of the game. <laughs> I had two lines. Win? She's just gonna tell us to win. That's it. That's that's the secret. That's the secret. That's the password. For the for the Uber Brahmastra. I'm gonna go.
Oh, that feels good. Is she healing me? Oh, yeah, that feels good. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh. Look okay, at like a thousand arms now. Yeah. A thousand <laughs> arms, but a sofa. Oh. Nope, just two really big ones. Those are some chonky fucking <laughs> arms. <laughs> He's been not skipping my arm day. Alright, well, next time at Chin Stripe Chaps, we'll see where this fucking goes now. <laughs> next time at Chin Stripe Chaps, we're, we're gonna skip leg day. Ew.